48 and two fifth seconds for the opening half mile. Lil Honey Badger leading. She's awfully good by two lengths. Battlefield Angel third. Who's in town in fourth? Battlefield Angel getting untracked as they turn for home in the Darley Alcibiades top of the stretch. Battlefield Angel to the lead. Rosalind and Mike and Questadori. Mike and Questadori. Unbelievable run. Just incredible. She was in all kinds of traffic with a quarter mile to go, and she's going to be your winner in the Darley Alcibiades. This is some kind of filly, folks. Mike and Questadori and Eureka da Silva to take it. Rosalind Holmes second, and Battlefield Angel third. Results of the ninth race feature are official. Race nine, the 62nd running of the grade one Darley Alcibiades, part of the win and you're in for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies Division. Number seven, My Conquestadori, owned by Conquest Tables, LLC, of Ernie Samursky and Dory Newell, trained by Mark Cassie, Eurico Rosa da Silva, the winning jockey. My Conquestadori, two-year-old Artie Schiller filly, out of Golden Artemis by Malibu Moon, bred in Kentucky by Paul Tackett. And this Keeneland sales graduate covers the mile and a 16th over the poly track in one minute, 45 and three-fifths seconds. It is official. And now the trophy presentation for the Grade 1 Darley Alcibiades, a Breeders' Cup win and you're in challenge race representing Darley, Mr. Jimmy Bell, president. He makes the presentation to the connections of My Conquestadori. Congratulations. Favorite, My Conquestadori, comes from dead last. An impressive win in the Darley Alcibiades, trained by Mark Cassie, uh, ridden by Eurico De Silva. We'll talk to Eurico first. Tell us about that trip. Uh, you know, she didn't look sharp, and I, I knew because uh, before... The race, she was very, very relaxed. You know, she showed me she's not going to, to be a speed dude. And uh, that, that I was very, very happy. But I was worried in the middle of the trip because there uh, was so many feeling in front of me. But every time I needed her, she, she was just galloping, you know, waiting for the hold. And every time I opened a little bit, and I, I put her in and in. And then when in the stretch, we had free, just free runners. She just runs so easy, you know. She's very nice feeling. It seemed like at one point on the back stretch, you did have to check. Uh, you know, the horse in front of me was, uh, was checking, and I did check her a little bit because I have a long line, and uh, because I just want she feel very, very relaxed at that point, you know. And, but when we turn home and I have all kind of horses, there's no way she's going to get beat. Congratulations. Mark, were you a little bit nervous when she had to check there on little, the back stretch? A little. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my, my thoughts were here, you know, here I, we have this great filly and she's not gonna be able to show how great she was. I wasn't upset or worried for me. Uh, I, was, I was worried for her because I wanted her to be able to show you how great she was and that was my concern. Well, what, it was so impressive. I mean, that was, uh, once she did get clear, she just exploded. Uh, you gotta be thinking Breeders' Cup. Uh, well, definitely. Hopefully she's fine. And, you know, we came here. I said I wanted to get her some experience. Um, I didn't know we were going to get that much experience, <laughs> but uh, I'm glad to have it. Congratulations. My Conquistadore wins the Darley Alcibiades.